Cage's extravagant spending on exotic vehicles and mansions is well known. Many people are unaware that Nick Cage has always been a huge superhero and comic book memorabilia collector, only wanting to acquire the rarest of all time books. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover Nicolas Cage's $2 million comic book collection. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Nick Cage is a well-known American actor and producer who has a long list of film credits to his name. He has starred in a wide range of films including romantic comedies like Raising Arizona, tragedies like Leaving Las Vegas, science fiction, action pictures like The Rock, Con Air, and even the not-so-great comic book blockbusters like Ghost Rider and its sequel, Spirit of Vengeance. Nicolas Cage was seen having a wonderful time meeting fans, taking photos with comic artists, and perhaps picking up magnificent Silver Age key issues, issue after issue, at the amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. Could Nick Cage be developing his comic book collection with rare treasures like Amazing Spider-Man number one, Incredible Hulk number one, and Fantastic Four number one? Did you know that Nicolas Cage is a huge comic book fan? We'll get into it in a minute. But first, let's look at Cage's other comic book ties. Action Comics number one, first appearance of Superman. At his Los Angeles home, Nick Cage was the victim of one of the worst comic book thefts in history. Cage discovered three of his most expensive comic books to ever enter the market history were gone after numerous parties in 2000. But he didn't know when it occurred. A premium edition of Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster's Action Comics number one, released in June 1938, featured mild-mannered reporter Clark Kent of Metropolis and his crime-fighting alter persona, as well as other characters like Lois Lane. Only 100 of 200,000 copies of Action Comics number no. 1 that were produced 78 years ago are thought to have survived. Nicolas Cage had one of the best preserved, unrestored versions of the film. The Case of the Stolen Cage Comics Don Rysick, a Los Angeles police investigator, arrived at Nicolas Cage's Tudor-style house one February morning in 2000. Rysick remembers Cage's living room was an exuberant jumble. He amassed a vast collection of items ranging from antique automobiles to dinosaur bones, a large robot, two well-groomed canines cared for by their owner, and a classic sports vehicle smack in the centre of the room were among the highlights. Dozens and dozens of antique comic books from Cage's treasured collection hung on the walls in secured bulletproof display cases. It was a superhero's shrine. Rare copies of Spider-Man, The Fantastic Four, Green Lantern, Our Man, Hawkman, The Hulk, and many more superheroes were available. Detective Comics number no. 1, the series that gave DC Comics, now owned by Warner Brothers, its moniker was no longer published. The stolen Detective Comics number no. 27, the 1940 issue in which Batman first debuted, was much more expensive. The true tragedy was the loss of Action Comics number no. 1, the 1938 issue that introduced the world to the Man of Steel the one and only Superman. The Storage Wars Sting When Cage realised the comics were gone, one of the first calls he made was to Stephen Fischler, the same guy who had sold him the book. Fischler went to Los Angeles believing Cage had just lost them and investigated the actor's massive house. After that, he alerted local comic book shop owners to be on the watch for someone attempting to sell the three volumes. The investigation became dormant. Eleven years later, the first issue of Action Comics was discovered in one of the most amazing storage warfare stories ever recounted. Here's how Vincent Zerzolo describes the tale involving some of TV's Storage Wars actors in an article on thestar.com. Cage's comic books were discovered in the spring of 2011, 11 years after they went missing. Lozano, who resided in Simi Valley, just outside of Los Angeles at the time, earned a livelihood by purchasing abandoned or unaffordable storage facilities and then selling the contents. Dotson was informed by Lozano that he discovered the comic book in one of the units. Dotson connected Lozano to Mark Bellello, another Storage Wars auctioneer who claimed to know the country's largest comic book trader. Stephen Fischler was approached by Bellello. He emailed Fischler a scan of the comic book along with a $1 million price tag. What happened to it now? Cage placed Actions Comic number one up for sale on Fischler's site when he received it back. It was sold for a record $2,161,000 on November 30th, 2011. The first issue of Action Comics is now part of an incredible collection that will be on exhibit at the Impossible Collection in London. Stephen Fischler, yep, the same Stephen Fischler and Vincent Zerzolo are the curators of the Impossible Collection. They currently possess two copies of Action Comics number no. one, and they've laboured to organise the volumes to demonstrate the medium's cultural significance and development. Jerry Siegel and Joe Shuster, two Cleveland teens, invented Superman in 1933, but they sold the rights to DC Comics for just $130, earning $10 each page they drew. Are you a fan of comic books? Let us know in the comment section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, 
and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.